Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Sunday, November 4th. Um, I was able to make it to the range yesterday. Just fired a box of 20 through it. Um, we did, weirdly enough, get struck by a tornado Friday night. So, you know, we were all a little tired and uh, sore and stuff like that from having to be cutting up trees and all that kind of stuff. But, you know, I did get a, I did get it about 45 minutes to get away and go sight this thing in and um, you know, get some shots on paper. Um, so it's far from a perfect day's outing, but, uh, you know, at least got some initial data and some areas where we can improve. So the first 10 shots were sighting in and fouling the barrel and stuff like that. And I figured I didn't need to walk you guys through that process. Um, but so what you see here on the paper are 10 shots in really two real groups. Um, so I'll start with the top where the quarter is. So you can see that there's clearly two or maybe even three black stickers right there because when I peeled off one, it made it all yellow. So that was originally starting out as a five shot group. And you can see here under the quarter, that there's it's not covering anything. So this originally started out as a five shot video and the gentleman that I was with uh, was shooting a muzzle brake on an AR and so the first three shots I fired, and then the last two shots, which are the ones covered up there, I flinched really badly because of the the break on his gun. And that's not his fault or anything, but it's just, it's not exactly conducive for, you know, it's not well suited for tr when I'm trying to shoot a group. Um, so I covered those up because those are the three that were just the gun, good, you know, I did everything right on my part off of a sandbag. Um, so I think those three there are the true indication of the gun's potential and not of any shooter influence, right? So that's what happened there. So I let the gun cool down for a couple minutes. I mean, it's a heavy barrel, so it doesn't build heat as quickly, but it's still, you know, a little warm and it was chilly out yesterday, uh, because of the front from the storm. So I let it cool down for, you know, five, ten minutes or so. And then I went and I shot this group so again you can see quarters not covering anything so I put these three here the the bottom two that are almost on top of each other are my first two shots and then that one is my third so you can see when he when the gentleman was reloading and I was just able to shoot on my own accord and not have to worry about stress factors or anything I could I mean the gun absolutely did what it intended it to do um, that's, you know, a pretty, pretty good group, especially for, you know, that would have been shots 14, no, yeah, 14, 15, and 16. Um, actually, no, I take that back, uh, 16, 17, and 18 through the gun. So it's still fouling. It's still, you know, kind of cleaning things out, but, uh, needless to stay is still showing potential. Um, and then these two over here, <clears throat> I was, uh. You know, I just fired them because I had two rounds left. I, just, I fired one and then um, aimed at the first one and then wanted, just kind of wanted to see what the... Uh, so I think I originally aimed like here and I hit that one and then I aimed at that one and hit that one. Just, I don't know, I wasn't really thinking. Um, so anyway, this is kind of my preliminary groupings for the gun. I think there's a lot of potential here. Um, and with 20 rounds, it's obviously not a very large sample or anything but um so anyway i wanted to report back i said i was going to try to get it done this weekend and so didn't want you guys to think i forgot about her already uh, i am you know dedicated to this series and really want to see what this gun's potential is um so just to remind you guys this is the savage axis 2 heavy barrel in 6.5 creedmoor um you can see it's got the tapered bull barrel Accutrigger, attachable magazine, which fed fine and functioned. Um, it came with that Bushnell 4 to 12 on it. I didn't do anything to it before I went out and shot it. I said in my first video I was probably going to check torque specs and all that stuff. I didn't because, <clears throat> you know, I really wanted to just, just start with the way that this gun came. I didn't want to start tweaking anything before I just did it a preliminary accuracy test. Um... Just so in the event that somebody, you know, say buys this gun and wants to go sight it in that day, what realistically are you in for? And that doesn't mean everyone's going to be put together the same, but 
this what does a truly out of the box test look like? So that's what I was going for here. Um, this is what I was shooting, obviously. So that's the Federal Fusion, uh, 140 grain, 6.5 Creedmoor, um, which I've had mixed results in the Fusion ammo and different guns, but this gun seemed to do all right. Uh, I think in between like 137 and 143 grain projectiles are supposed to do pretty well in the Creedmoor. So uh, anyway, that is uh, where we're at for now. Um, wanted to give you guys this update, like I said. Um, and at the time period, I said I would. Uh, so from here, I'm probably going to kind of put together a plan, and I'll share it with you guys when I do. And uh, we'll go over sort of what I think I want to do, and uh, maybe the means of how I'm going to get those things. Um, I mentioned in my original video that I wanted this to sort of be an every man's rifle series. So it's easy to buy the gun, shoot it, get a starting point and then go drop a thousand dollars on upgrades for it but that's not feasible for a lot of people that are buying a gun at this price point so what i'm going to do is i'm going to do it through you know uh asking for things for christmas or um you know if there's overtime at work or if i sell something you know if i sell something else use that money for this i'm not gonna I'm not gonna take any money out of my out of my you know my paycheck um to work on this gun i want to do it through the means that a lot of people have to uh make a rifle shoot well so uh we're going to go from there and uh you know please feel free to subscribe and um like the video i'm welcome to i'm welcome to any comments please list any upgrades you think i should consider um and we were uh we'll go from there i hope everyone has a good rest of the weekend and uh i'll put i'll share the plan for this gun here soon thanks